Hi guys, it's Mia, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you all how to create a witch look for Halloween and, and we're going to go for like a green skin kind of look with some black smoky eyes and I have a few products and things I'd like to mention at the end of the video so be sure to check that out and stay till the very end I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to go like, subscribe, and please remember to hit the bell to make sure you miss none of my future videos. I'm now posting every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 8 30 pm, so please be sure to check that out. And I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows off camera, and I will be right back. So I've just quickly gone ahead and done my eyebrows off camera, and for the eyebrows I used, the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 77, which is just the black shade. And then I cover them out using the P.L.U.'s base in shade 2 as usual. Now we're going to go straight on to eyes, so I'm just going to zoom you in. So to start off, I'm just going to be taking a little Morphe brush, which is just a blending brush. However set, which doesn't have a number on it, unfortunately. And we're going to go straight into the Emma Mitchell palette in the shade Shmone, which is like a green shade top off the excess and just go straight in with that dipping in frequently just really building that up you want to blend this shade quite far up as we're going to be painting the whole body green so we want it all to blend in Looking at something like that to start off with. Then going in with the same brush, I'm going to be taking Marde, which is a deeper green shade, and we're going to be applying that lower and keeping it like in the same spot. We don't really want to blend this high up. We just want to define the crease and keep it there. So for this technique, I'm just using circular motions to make sure it's blended, but not blended up and out. And we also want to take that just on the outside corner of the lid too. Like that. Really deepen that up. can see now it's got a lot more depth and stuff so just wipe that on the back of your hand go back in with the Shimone, the brighter shade and just really go over that to make sure we don't lose any of that colour bringing it right in and going back in with Mardi and now I'm going to be taking a Morphe JH40 brush and I'm just going to be dipping into Mafia, the black shade, really lightly and just grazing the crease with the black, grazing because you don't want it black, you just want to enhance the dark green and really define the crease so as you can see, I'm holding it right at the edge, which means really light pressure. And I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to be doing now is, um, I'm going to be taking the shade Minty from the palette, which is like a green shade. I'm just going to be tapping that on there as almost like a base. Not worrying about if it's messy or not just like that and then I'm going to be going into a pigment called Rattlesnake from Peaches and Cream so I'm just taking this on a flat packer brush and just packing that right over that green shade that we just like <laughs> Wow, 
blending that into the pigment to make sure we don't have a harsh line. And I think that's it. I'm just going to quickly do the other eye of camera and I'll be right back. So as you can see I've just done the other eye of camera and I'm just now going to be adding a little bit of liquid liner and this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner and just applying a really thin line. So for the waterline I'm going to be using the M.M. Mitchell and P. Louise collaboration and this is the Acid Rain collection in the shade Limelight. I'm just going to be taking a little bit on the back of my hand like that, really bright. And then just taking an angled brush and I'm just going to be dipping into that. Once we've done that, we're going to be dipping back into the Mitchell palette and we're going to go in with the shade Marde on a JH43 brush. taking this brush and taking a little bit of Marde and a little bit of Mafia going back into the brush from before from blending going straight into Schmoney So for base, we're actually going to be taking the Limelight Acid Rain Collection. I'm just going to be taking this on the Zweeva 110 brush and just really lightly sort of blending that. It's not picking up on camera how bright it really is um, and it smells amazing by the way. It smells like cupcakes, which is very appetising. And I'm just going to be patting that all around the face. With this look, it's just a kind of a trust the process look where you've just got to be patient and in the end it'll all come together. just dragged the same limelight all the way down my neck and I took that on Ariel Techniques um, Duo Fibre Stippling Brush and now I'm just going to be going into Ariel Techniques Setting Brush with the shade Schmoney and just blending that into the eye. I also went in with a beauty blender just to get close to here. Now I'm going to be taking the same brush and dipping into Marde but a little bit of Shimoni so I'm mixing them and then taking that there and you really just want to blend this slowly don't rush this process just really concentrate on the blending light pressure go back in with a little bit of shmone which is a lighter shade and just blend over that to sort of smoothen it out <laughs> And if you 
think you've got any down here. Let's go back in with the brush you're using for the base and just blend up over that just to really blend that in. And then we're just going to be repeating the same steps on the forehead and jawline. Because we're a witch, we don't really wear blush, I suppose. So we're going to go straight into highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm going to be going into this brush from Morphe, which I use quite often. And I'm going to be going back into that shade Minty. As like a base. Which is actually really pretty. And just applying this in all the places I usually would right here then taking a tiny little brush which is the Jacqueline JH39 and just really making the nose pop So just to make it pop a little bit more, I'm going to be taking the shade Minty again on the same brush and just popping that on my collarbones and all on my decollete, decollete, I'm not sure, just right there just to make it pop and then a little bit just here like that and then to really just take this to the next level I'm going to be taking the rattlesnake pigment again and just taking that as a highlighter and making it pop in that inner corner as well like that now I'm just gonna be popping on a pair of lashes off camera and I'll be right back so I just went and popped on a pair of Yasme Cosmetics lashes well I'm not sure what the style is um, I will try and find out for you I got them in um, one of them subscription boxes the beauty ones so sorry but they're just like a really nice wispy pair of lashes so um, I'm just also going to apply a bit of mascara and I'm going to apply the Benefit Roller Lash. Uh, just mix some lashes in. Like that. And now I'm going to do lips. And for lips, I thought we won't do black, but we're gonna do a really deep lip. So this is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vampira, which is fitting for Halloween. So I'm just gonna be applying this as best as I can. Mm. 
guys this is the finished look I really hope you like it I feel all witchy with my nails and this beautiful jewellery which I was kindly sent by a brand called Seal and Gold and I received my package in this little box I don't know if you're going to be able to focus but it just came in this really pretty little bag and it came with like little sweets and everything which was really lovely this is not a sponsored video and I've not been asked to speak about them or anything um, they just kindly gifted them to me which was really lovely of them but I'm going to speak about them because I really really enjoy the jewellery it's so delicate like look at this chain look at the detailing on it and I was also gifted this ring which ugh the uh I love things like this so I was really really happy to receive these in the mail and get a lovely email off them so thanks so much and I hope to work with them more in the future maybe too. I'm going to be leaving the link to their Instagram and the link to their website down below so please go check them out you won't regret it. I'm, I'm only telling you this because I really do enjoy the products and I'd really recommend them to you so please please go and like their photos and check out the website you will love it I'm sure and if you don't follow me on social media already everything will be linked down in the description box along with a product list of everything I've used today just want to say one last thank you for watching and I really hope you've enjoyed this video remember to go like subscribe and leave a comment down below and I shall see you all in my next video bye guys